Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Airbrushing Small Portraits. Again, I'm really getting into the groove with these, really enjoying it. It's getting my trigger control dialed in a little bit more. We're doing Mike Tyson today. Well, we're going to attempt to do Mike Tyson. It's quite a detailed piece. And we're doing it on a credit side, credit card size piece of paper. Now, this is quite a thick piece of sort of card and I've primed this. It's got a little bit of gesso on it. It's not been sanded. So it's still got the texture of the actual card that's underneath. <clears throat> now, if you are looking at going into painting these miniatures like this, I mean, this is my sort of attempts, my first attempts at it. So I'm sort of new to it. And I'm just sort of finding the ways, what paints work the best. Now, I find the mix that I'm using to get the best flow rate is Wicked, the new version of Wicked with isopropanol and water. It works perfect, guys, it really does. I've got a mix here. So when you, as you can see, when I do that, you can see how it, it just comes down the side, very, very clean. There's no grainy bits in there. It mixes really well. Flows really nice. The brush that we're using is the Harder and Steamback Evo 2024, which is this one, a, an amazing brush, guys. When you get your paints dialed in with this brush, if you're doing something like this, if you're doing real detailed stuff. If you get the paint mix using Wicked with this brush on sort of like five PSI, this thing is just incredible. For a 0 0.28, it gets ridiculously down. It really does. And the trigger is very, very precise. So that's what sort of my go-to brush for doing these. We've got the paint mix. This is the reference that I'm going from to the side of me here. And I've got another camera just here. So that's sort of the closest I can get this camera at an angle for you guys. We're about 10, 10, to, 12 cent, 10 to 12 inches away. If I pull it in any closer, I'm gonna be catching it. It's very, very awkward to film unless you've got the other camera and you're zooming right in over my shoulder. So that's all I'm going to be using on a time lapse. And then once we've painted it, I'll give you a little talk through and then I'll zoom you in on this camera and then bring you in a bit closer. So enjoy today's video, guys. I'll leave a bit of music on for you and we'll have an attempt to get Mike Tyson down. See you in a bit. I am so sorry I didn't catch much on the time lapse. I pressed the GoPro, well the DJI, thinking it was recording, it clicked on recording, so I started working on it from the beginning. Then it bleeped. I pressed it again, record again, and I think I've caught the tail end of it of the picture. Now I just worked this really light and just, just kept building up, building up, and building up. I'll give you a little close-up of how it's come out. I think it's come out really, really well. It's quite realistic for a small um, business size card of Mike Tyson. So I'll zoom you in. Thanks for watching. I'll move on to the next one. There's going to be another one coming up today. We'll move on to that one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you are new to the channel, click that subscription, press the notification, drop your comments, tell me your thoughts on these mini portraits, whether you're liking them or not. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.